Shalom, saints of God. We walk shalom. This is Apostle Rejoice coming to you live here, beautiful Stone Mountain, Georgia. Amen. We give God praise on this wonderful day that the Lord has made. We're going to continue on to rejoice and be glad in it. I was glad when they said unto me, let us come into the house of the Lord. For in his house there is benediction, there is blessings, there is bountiful uh, anointing that's, that's all in his presence. For in his presence there there's nothing lacking, nothing missing, and nothing can be uh, uh, deterred from uh, what he wants uh, to accomplish in his life and time in our lives as well. Uh, this is a Ruach International Ministries. We are definitely debuting our, our uh, uh, ministry out here and we thank God for you. If you are ever in the Georgia area, please and thank you. Come by as so a we can fellowship together. Drop me a message and then therefore I can send you the, the actual address itself. But I want to let you know that we are truly excited of what God is doing in our lives and we celebrate what the Lord is doing because he is an awesome some God like that. I want to wish every mama what you say. Mama, you, hey, hey, we celebrate you on today. Every day is Mother's Day as far as I'm concerned. Every day is Father's Day. Every day is Christmas. Every day is Thanksgiving because we realize it is the Lord that has blessed us with this day. This is the day that the Lord has been and we're going to continue on to rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, so therefore, somebody thought about the mothers to the place where it is uh, conducive to understand what is going on and we celebrate what the Lord is doing. Amen. And so we want to continue on what we want to do uh, because it's all about him and not about us. And so with that in mind, we want to salute, especially uh, my spiritual mom, Apostle G. Marie Carroll. Amen. And so with that, we want to give God praise for him as well as for everyone else at the end of the day. We salute everyone that is coming on board right now. Please uh, uh, sh uh, uh, share. Amen. Please share <laughs> because there is a word uh, from the Lord on today. And there is a woman that... Uh, mm, I want to share with you all today, Lord have mercy, I don't hear that often about um, uh, preach on uh, uh, what uh, the Lord had uh, literally made me investigate this young lady. And so we just want to talk about her real quick. But before we can do anything else, let's go to God in prayer. Lord, we thank you today. We bless you. We honor you for this moment in time that we do not take for granted at all, Lord God. We count it a privilege and an honor to call ourselves a church children of God, first and foremost. We want to thank you, Holy Spirit, for giving us, Lord God, an uh, uh, inkling of, of, of what is about to happen. And we thank you, Lord God, for giving us the zeal for us to be part of the happenings. Amen. We thank you, Holy Ghost, today, and we bless you. We honor you for being who you are for us, for you are the God that, that we have to serve, we want to serve. We are elated, oh my God, to serve you, for you are a good God, a faithful God, a patient God. There's no other God like you. We humble ourselves before you because we realize, Lord God, you humbled yourself unto death. <laughs> and so because of that, Lord God, we want, Lord God, to humble ourselves for the God who made it possible for us to call ourselves redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. And we thank you, Holy Spirit, for, Lord God, giving us, Lord God, the opportunity that we maximize right now to celebrate your name. We give you praise, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Jesus, for washing away our sins, though they are many before you, us sins of omission and commission. Wash us water than snow that we can be a vessel, Lord God, for you. Oh God, a fierce to reckon with in the, the dark world. We praise you, Holy Ghost, right now. We thank you for breathing on us, that Lord God living, teaching, preaching, prophesying, rebuking shall be made easy right now in the name of the Most High God. We thank you, Holy Spirit, and we ask God to bless, uh, oh God, a special blessing upon every mother, oh God, on today, around the world, Holy Spirit, we know, Lord God, that you're omni omnipresent, and so God, we thank you for being who you are for us today, have your way, Lord God, in this moment in time, we don't take nothing for granted, but we thank you, Lord God, for choosing us for such a time as now, we honor you and we praise you, we love you and we bless you, it's in your name that we pray, your name is Jesus, forever and ever. Amen. <laughs>
and amen. We celebrate the Lord God today for another opportunity to come to you. And so ooh, um, we're going to love on him even the more right now. Before we do that, I'm going to have to put, put my uh, charger on. Amen. Uh, before it goes out on me. Woo! -hoo. We don't want that to happen. <laughs> and so with that... Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Bless your name. Bless your name, God. Bless your name. Amen. And so with that, we're going to go straight into the word um, because the word is what's important to us. It's the word that's going to make sense at the end of the day, saints. And we just want to give him what is due on today. Amen. Uh, because he's an awesome God like that. And we do not want to take nothing what he wants to do for us for granted. And so we thank him on today. We give him all the glory that is due his name on today. Hallelujah. Um, and so if you all can join us uh, in, on Facebook, if in case uh, Zoom hangs up on us because we're only small, we're a very small uh, uh, percentage in our um, uh, our uh, 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 battery, but we know for a fact that there is a word and I would like for you all to chime in under Huberta Rejoice. Uh, Facebook page in Jesus name. If you have your Bibles with us, please open it up to the book, uh, the second book of Moses. Amen. Exodus. We're going to go there real quick. We're going to talk to us today about this woman of God. I call her a woman of God indeed. And so we're going to talk to you, uh, talk to everyone today about this beautiful mother, her name, uh, Moses' mother. Uh, and so let's go to Genesis, I'm sorry, Exodus chapter one. We're going to do a little highlight first before we get to the actual, the, the meat of, of the story itself. We see that um, uh, uh, the first three chapter, three, ver six verses talks about, of course, um, how Joseph brought his family to, uh, uh, what do you call that? Uh, to Egypt and so uh, to Goshen. And of course, after Joseph had died and the Pharaoh that knew Joseph and of course his good works, he died also. Unfortunately, another Pharaoh arose. Huh? Unfortunately, they did not know anything about what has happened. How many times that we see ourselves in a place where we are being, um, uh, uh, we've done a great work in our time, but the next generation does not even know what, who we are. And so I just want to encourage someone to know to continue on this legacy of always enunciating of uh, what has had happened uh, to the place where the next generation will not be looking at us um, as if we are we are ex instinct, ex extinct. And so with that in mind, we see that the children of Israel, verse seven, uh, but the children of Israel were fruitful and increased, abundantly multiplied and grew exceedingly mighty and the land was filled with them. So therefore God had multiplied, multiplied, multiplied. Uh, 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 just as he had promised uh, Abraham, uh, this is exactly what they that the promise is finally coming to fruition right now. And so we're seeing here that uh, unfortunately at the end, we see that uh, the children of Israel, uh, the women, they were giving birth and they kept on giving birth. And uh, there was a decree out. Hmm. The decree was that... Um, uh, that it was going to be a, a, a massacre, if you will. Um, every male child under two years old, they were going to throw them in the Nile River. Hmm. And so we're seeing here that now it is now a law mandated uh, for them to do that. But this young lady, Jacobed, that's her name. And we would, not, we would know Moses' name in Numbers Chapter 26, verse 59. Jacobed was married to Amron. Amron was her nephew. So Amron became a, a, a Jacobed's aunt and wife. Back in the day, it wasn't that a big deal, but today, you, you, yeah, it's a whole different story. But nonetheless, we know that because, of course, we're giving you you know, scriptures to back up what we're saying. And of course, it's like I said, it's in Numbers chapter 26, verse 59. And of course, we're seeing here now 
um, she already had two children, which were, of course, Aaron and Miriam. When the massacre, when the notice had came out, what happened? We find ourselves in a place where they, my, my, um, got themselves in a tissy, if you will. And we find them now. She is now, she had Moses, but she did not name him Moses. But she had Moses nonetheless. And she, the Bible says she hid him. In chapter 2, verse 2, it says, and So the woman conceived and bore a son. And when she saw that he was a beautiful child, she hid him for three months. Sometimes there, there, there are some people in our lives, there's some children that the Lord has blessed our wombs to birth life to. Uh, they, are, they are here for a mission. They are here for an assignment. And Jacobed saw her son so beautiful, she was not going to let her son die. I don't know if you see your son, if you see your daughter, and no matter what, whatever mask or whatever law that is out there, you said, I'm not going to let my, my, my daughter go. I remember uh, Apostle Scott was giving me a testimony of um, her last daughter, Journey. And she was telling me that journey was premature, but she didn't let go. She stayed in the hospital until if you see journey now, Lord have mercy. Uh, I call her, well, the Holy Spirit told me to call her prophet journey because one day I was praying and, and, she, and the Lord showed me her and he says, she is prophet journey. Oh, yes, sir. And so I see that she was one of those people did not give up. And just as Jacobed, she did not give up on Moses in spite of um, the threatenings that were going on in Egypt at that time. They were threatened to the place where obviously the, 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 the astrologer saw a star. And we should know that whenever the astrologers usually see a star, that is letting them know that um, some uh, uh, a deliverer has been born. And so the Pharaoh was, of course, unsadly to say, was threatened by it. Same concept with Jesus Christ himself, amen. And so we're seeing here that she saw her son beautiful and she was not going to release her son to the massacre, to the Pharaoh, to death. Uh, she did not abort this child in spite of what the, the rules and regulations were saying on the land, in the land. But God himself knew exactly what needed to be done uh, because when there is a specific duty that a child must do on earth, listen, no demon, no hell, uh, no president, no law, nothing can stop what God has already ordained from the foundation of the world. And I don't know if you are a mother who is pregnant right now or going to be a mother who is, who have a high, I don't know why I'm seeing this, who has a, a high, uh, um, high risk of, of pregnancy. But I, I tell you right now, I say, baby, sit still and you shall give life you will not die but you shall live i don't care if you're 45 years old ma'am if you are a woman that is about to give birth that child is supposed to be born it's going to be born because that child is ordained to do something great on earth and the, his or her signature is going to be well known around the world and so we see what is going on here we're seeing here Yakabed. She now uh, could not hide Moses any longer. So what did she do? She put now a basket together <laughs> and she, and then she pour, she poured tar around it. The same tar that they use to build the bricks and, and build buildings with. And so uh, uh, she got the everything and, and, and then she, she put the baby. She trusted God saints. She trusted God. And she put Moses, the baby, in the basket. Yakabed was nothing to play with. You hear me? Uh, because um, uh, anybody else would have said, I, I, I can't do this. But she saw something in her third child that made, my God, people, we have to understand what's going on here. And so we see it now. Yakabed put Moses in the basket in the basket, in the protecting. It, 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 so therefore the basket represented her belly all over again. And now here she is. Um, and she told Miriam, uh, uh, she said, Miriam, let me tell you something. I need you to follow that basket. We're going to put in the same Nile River that other babies had died in. 
Ooh, and so we must understand that um, uh, uh, we, we, we're going to dare death to take our destiny. Hey, we're going to dare death to take our destiny. And I command right now, every everything that's supposed to come alive, everything that's supposed to uh, spring forth, I say spring forth right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And so and she put, Yaqabed uh, uh, put her, remember, I have to let you know that Yaqabed means uh, God's glory. So she was orchestrating her name, the meaning of her name. And Jacobed now trusted the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Whoa, what a difference. What a difference when we trust. Uh, uh, some trust in chariots. Others trust in horses. Uh, but we shall trust and remember the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so we see how it was so important for her uh, to know exactly what's going on. We also understand that Miriam was watching uh, from a distance where, my God, the, the basket was going. Listen, saints, the word of God is the word of God. It says clearly that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and delighteth in his way. Listen, yes. Moses could not I promise you, Moses was nowhere near uh, uh, able to talk. But the steps of a good man, the steps of your destiny, the steps of your promise, the steps of your deliverance, the steps of your victory, the steps of your healing is ordered by the God of the universe. So we see how, mm, let me calm down. So we see how uh, 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 Miriam was watching uh, the move of God. The, the spirit of God was moving, was hovering over Moses uh, to the place where did the, the God is sent it, the same place where the massacre is has, was was birthed went to Pharaoh's side and what how coincidental it may be uh but we see that she now decided to go and take a bath in the Nile River the same time when now uh Moses is about to meet her and she's gonna meet him <laughs> Oh my God. So now we're seeing that God is ordering the heathen steps and God is here is, is, is ordering even the deliverer steps. We see how it is strategic. I don't know who I'm talking to today, but God wants someone to know you are going to uh, meet up with uh, the, uh, the powers that be and you're going to gain favor. I command favor rest upon you today because there is a, 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 a shift going on uh, in the atmosphere. God is going to order our steps, our steps to meet the right person at the right time and to gain the right victory. Moses didn't even understand. Remember, he was only three months old, but the steps of a good man <laughs> are ordered by the Lord because Yaqabed, the mother of Moses, Trust the God of the universe. She told Miriam to watch where it's about to go. And that is when now we see how she was in a place where uh, 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 it landed right in front. Or rather, uh, landed around. And, she, and all of a sudden, all, uh, uh, the Bible said uh, that uh, uh, Moses started crying. And Pharaoh's daughter came outside the same time when she was about to, and she heard a, a baby crying. She's like, where is this baby crying? Where, where, where is this crying coming from? And she saw the basket. <laughs> she could have easily, saints, let me tell you something. When favor is on your life, it, things will change. When favor is on your life, my life, your life, our lives, things are going to change. And so because of that, Pharaoh's daughter picked up Moses, picked up this baby. <laughs> and even though she knew the decree has been set, she refused to let this one go. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know who you are, saints of God, but I want you to know that uh, your deliverer is not going to die. It's no, ma'am. Your favor is not going to die. Your healing is not going to die. And so, uh, Yaqabed believed, this mother believed that God can, can, can save this child. And she will not um, have uh, uh, this blood in her hands. 
And so because of that, Jacobet stood there and she uh, and Miriam came out and she said, and, and here comes the Pharaoh's wife, um, the, the Pharaoh's daughter, forgive me. Uh, uh, she, she now, she, she was holding the baby in her hand. And when she was healed, holding the baby in her hands, um, uh, what happened? All of a sudden, she was joyful and she says, I call him Moses, which means draw, uh, 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 coming out. Uh, and we, we will see it very clearly uh, uh, in verse 10 in chapter 2 of the book of Exodus. It says, so she called his name Moses saying, because I drew him out of water. Because I drew him out of water. Now all of a sudden what happened? We see that now Miriam comes to the play and Miriam says, I could get a Hebrew woman to nurse this child for you. Let me tell you something. It's strategic what God is about to do. Let God do his thing. Don't be religious and say, oh, I only want to deal with white, deal with religion people. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Favor comes in all shapes and sizes. <laughs> and I want you to know if, if the devil's going to give you something, get it from him. Because the minute it transfers in your hands, it becomes blessed. I just want to let somebody know that today. <laughs> and so we see uh Miriam ran. I believe she was running real fast because we have to understand Miriam was at least eight years older than, than Moses was born. So of course she had a lot of speed. So, so I believe that Miriam was running, running, running. And went to get her mom. And now her mom was presented before the daughter, the Pharaoh's daughter. And she says, um, I will nurse the child. The Bible never said that they knew uh, that she knew that that, that was her, his mother. All we do know is that she had more time with her child, with her destiny. And so they, uh, uh, Yacobed nursed her son. And not only nurse her son was with her son, they even paid the woman. <laughs> oh my God. I want someone to know. I want someone to know. I want someone to know. I got to share this. That whatever you think you've lost, you didn't lose anything. Matter of fact, you're going to gain more at the end of it all. Because you trust God. Mothers, I wanted to let you know that just because you're not with your daughter today or your son today, that doesn't mean that it's going to stay like that forever. No, ma'am, no, sir. I don't know how long uh, from uh, the, the uh, 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 Yacobed's house to Pharaoh's uh, daughter's house, but I believe it was probably more than just one day. But no matter what it is, Saint, I want you to know today that whatever the gap or the duration of the silence of, of not understanding, what uh, Worrying about it, God wants you to know. Yakabed is you going to be a Yakabed very soon. I'm going to be a Yakabed very soon. That I'm going to reconcile. There's reconciliation. They're going to meet up, and the people won't even know what's going on. And on top of everything, they're going to pay you. They're going to pay you. They're going to pay you for your anointing. They're going to pay you for your your gift. They're going to pay you for your talent. They're going to pay you. Pay you. And so we see that Yakabed was a, a woman. Not to be played with. She, her characteristic shows us that she was a, uh, an anointed woman of God to the point that she feared God. She was not going to give her destiny up <laughs> to the enemy. No, ma'am. She fought. I don't know if you're fighting for your children today. I don't know uh, uh, if you're praying for your children today. I don't know if you are uh, those kind of people who are who are relentless in, in saying, devil, not today, devil, not today. And matter of fact, if tomorrow it grants me life, not tomorrow as well, because this child is my child. So we understand Moses grew up in the Pharaoh's house, <laughs> grew up. If you understand, Yacobed, she, she, she birthed three major leaders in the body of Christ. <laughs> she birthed Miriam, she birthed Aaron, and she birthed Moses. You, She has three beautiful children, and all three of them, according to Amos, he tells, he gives credit to all three, that it was those three leaders who took children of Israel out of, <laughs> of bondage. 
So I don't know if you are a Yakabe and have three children. And, and of course, you know, we all go through our little di different phases of life. But I want to encourage a mother today. Stop. Don't stop praying. Do not stop. Do not. Don't get discouraged in the midst of it all. Because uh, uh, when we read chapter ten, 2, it, it tells us that Moses had been killed somebody. And he went on exile. Hmm. But I, of course, I'm sure that she, uh, 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 Yaakovet had died the 40 years that, that Moses was, was there. But nonetheless, she birthed three major leaders <laughs> that made the world stand attention. I don't know if you bless your children today, but may I please bless your children if you haven't. Uh, the biggest blessing in the world. And this is why I dedicated my book. Um, I dedicated my, my book to uh, towards my, my grandma as well as my mom. This book really shows exactly what is going on with my, in my life at the time. And if it wasn't for my mom and my grandma, I don't think I would be able to know how to pray right. Uh, lead right or anything to that point. So I don't know if you are a Yakabed who have children that you are training, grooming to be leaders. But if you if you give me a chance right now, I would love to pray for your children. I would like to pray for my my spiritual son, Matt, Pastor Matthew Wake at uh, uh, Liberia, Africa, West Africa, with my grandchildren over there. And so God, we thank you today that every mother that is listening to us right now will be a yakabed, will, that, that their wombs has been blessed to birth leaders. <laughs> I give you praise right now, Holy Spirit, that you are the God who knows exactly what you're doing. Thank you for ordering their steps. Wherever they are, wherever they are, it's because you ordered it to be where they are, to be trained by you. I bless your name today, Holy Spirit, for letting us understand that you are in control. We trust you to do what you ordain for our children to be. We bless our wombs. We bless our children. We bless our grandchildren. We bless our spiritual children. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for them being leaders that will bring people out of bondage and into the promised land, into their inheritance, into their destiny. With the command right now, every apostle, because, because Moses was an apostle in his right. We command every prophet. Moses was a prophet in his right. We command right now, every prophetess. Miriam was a prophetess in her right because she was married to a, a prophet. We command uh, uh, the priest, the pastor. Aaron was, my God, the priest. Indeed, he was. We command every pastor to come forth. In the name of Jesus Christ, every child that is that is the backside uh, right now, that, that is running away from your calling, I command you to come forth in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord says yes to you. Yes to your walk. Yes, and that he's going to use you. I say yes right now. I salute every backslider to come back home. Every mother that, 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 that had no more hope. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for moving on her behalf that she would gain hope again, gain joy again, gain peace again in Jesus' name. Uh, I must give you a little testimony before we leave. And that is um, when uh, uh, Billy Graham's son, he was out there doing his thing, fleshly wise. And I remember that they had uh, gave a, a, a ask, a, 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 they were doing an interview with them. And when they were giving an interview with them, uh, the interviewer said to uh, ask uh, B uh, Billy Graham, did you get discouraged? And he said, I sure did. I got discouraged with Griffin. I got discouraged with him. And then the interviewer asked the mother. And she says, no, I never got discouraged because I knew what God told me. So I said all that to let you understand. Whatever God told you about your children, bring it back to God's remembrance. Yes, he said, remind me. So I want you to do that because it's super important right now to understand the concept of covenant. 
<laughs> because covenant, God will not break. So whatever God told you about your Moses, your Aaron, your your uh, your Sarah, your Abraham, your Elijah, your Elisha, whatever God said about your child, bring it back to his remembrance. Not that he has amnesia, but it's, it's so good for us to re, re, uh, to, to uh, uh, uplift the 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 uh, uh, the contract I call it the, the covenant back to God. So I want you to be encouraged today, saints, to understand that it's a season. But I want to wish and bless every mother, every grandmother, every spiritual mother, Amen. Everyone that has uh, helped groom a child into society. You are a mother as well. If you've never had a child, and if you desire to have a child, I command the Philippian tubes right now to open up. And I command that your body will hold life. And I command that you shall push life. You will not push death. I rebuke death from your belly right now. And we command that the Lord God shall give you your heart's desire. And you shall be like a, like a, 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 a Hannah. You will celebrate. I dismiss barrenness and I command multiplication shall be your portion. So therefore, we thank God for you and let somebody be a Yacobet today. Moses' mother, that in spite of the odds, in spite of the danger, stand still and see what God is going to do in your life and to your children, your deliverer, your apostle, your prophet your pastor <laughs> and so she birthed lineages to the place where we are still talking about them today so i want to encourage you today saints of god to know that he is still in the blessing business in the recovering business in the reconciliation business until next time may the lord bless thee and keep thee may the lord's face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee may the lord look of his countenance before thee and grant the peace until next time. Shalom to you and yours. Hallelujah. Love you.